<sighs> so <clears throat> this is my third, fourth attempt at this. Uh, let's see what works. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos, and some of them um, have been really good. Some of them have been pretty good, and there's one stinker. Um, and <clears throat> without getting into why uh, I've been having some technical troubles getting these videos posted, let's just jump into it. Uh, let's see here. We'll start with uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Uh, if you enjoy the Pirates of the Caribbean movies for what they are, which are basically just fun, adventure, uh, comedic romps, then you will enjoy Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales, because that's exactly what this is. It was meant to be uh, not thought about, if that makes sense. It is easily digestible uh Fun, which is what you want in a uh, in a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. It's a fun ride. There, I said it. Uh, Javier Bardem does a decent uh, job uh, breathing life into uh, his uh, character, uh, the undead uh, pirate you know, chaser. Uh, the he, he he's sort of a, a, an antagonist who really isn't that all that bad. Uh, yes, uh, you know, we've got an un another undead um, antagonist, uh, you know, Johnny Depp's uh, uh, Captain Sparrow is on the run again. Uh, you know, there are a lot, of, a lot of similarities, a lot of familiar things going on here, but it is still fun. Uh, so that's the biggest takeaway uh, you should uh, think about. Uh, think about picking this up if you are a fan of, uh, at all of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Uh, special features are pretty good. They're not. They're not great. Um, not the biggest, uh, most complete package, but uh, that's not going to stop you from uh, picking this up anyway. Let's see here. We got dudes. Uh, from Shout Factory. Uh, <clears throat> this came out in 1988, 89 maybe. Um, three uh, New York City punk rockers uh, decide to leave, head out to California for a better life and get waylaid uh, by leaving uh, the band Fear uh, in a role that <sighs> might be his best yet, um, uh, bettering that of Mr. Body uh, in Clue. John Cryer is fantastic uh, uh, in this, uh, in one of his few, like, real leading roles. Uh, it's billed as a punk rock western, uh, which is kind of true. It's got, you know, it, it's kind of a western and it definitely features uh, uh, a few punk rockers uh, it is enjoyable I, I you know uh, directed by Penelope Spheris who did uh, Suburbia uh, you might uh, remember uh, Decline in uh, Decline of Western Civilization um, it's uh, punk rock uh, was popular, uh, a popular subject uh, for filmmakers in the 80s, but the re presentation of punk rockers was a, almost a caricature. And what Dudes does was it uh, stopped it from being a caricature. Uh, it really presented uh, punk rockers as people, um, you know, as authentic as possible. So, uh, but it's it's more more than that. Uh, that just happens to be the type of character. It could have been bankers. Uh, it 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 you know it could have been you know anybody that uh, college students. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a sort of a standard uh, fish out of water road trip type of thing, um, and it 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 is really effective. And uh, the the special features on on this. 
uh, a lot of new interviews uh, with cast and crew. And it will take you a couple of hours to go through them all. They are so well worth it. Uh, yeah. Really good package by, by Shout Factory here. Really good. Uh, I'm glad to see this is out. And then we've got Lego Ninjago Season 7. Uh, the Hands of Time. The Hands of Time are the characters of Crux and uh, uh, Chronix. Um twins who, you know, it deals with time travel. Uh, season 7, 10 episodes. Um, this is not the place to start with uh, Lego Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu, but uh, if you enjoy the series at all, then uh, pick this up. Uh, because the series started out really well, and then it got really stale. Uh, but then it just kept picking up. And um, it's really funny. Uh, there's character development, which is really nice. Uh, you don't see that in a lot of uh, animated series still these days. So uh, kudos to the people who make uh, Lego Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu because it's good. It's a good show. Uh, and... Uh, this uh, this season just sort of capitalizes on on that uh, character development is 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 really good, um, but it's not like you know a soap opera, sort of. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Here's the stinker. Uh, <clears throat> the group. Da, 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 da. Killing Hasselhoff has a great premise. Uh, Ken Jong um, is a nightclub owner who is so in debt that the only way he can get out from it um, and pay off the, the loan shark is by winning his uh, win, winning the celebrity death pool. Um, and his pick is David Hasselhoff, who is playing a, a very fictionalized version of himself. Um, but there are plot holes, such as why uh, Ken Jong's a uh, nightclub owner got so in debt in the first place. Um, and, you know, some other stuff. You know, the, the assassination attempts are just pointless. Um, poorly executed. Uh, uh, they lack logic, uh, some of them. So, it's just... It, there's real potential there. And that's what, what is so disappointing. Um, that and... Um, the, a lot of the humor is a middle school type of humor, um, infantile. And while there are really funny moments uh, in Killing Hasselhoff, they are overshadowed by uh, jokes that, you know, it's like, you know, if middle schoolers, if you went up to a bunch of middle schoolers and said, you can make an R-rated movie. Um, let's see here. We've got Mr. Mom, uh, which is really funny. It still holds up today. Uh, Jack, portrayed by Michael Keaton, uh, gets laid off and becomes a stay-at-home dad. And uh, at first, he doesn't know what to do. Uh, he becomes the stereotypical bumbling dad. Um, and a lot of, especially stay-at-home fathers, uh, can be rightly sensitive about their portrayal, uh, you know, in in the media and, and stuff like that. But almost universally, um, a lot of them uh, enjoy Mr. Mom because of the character arc that he has, where he starts out, you know, not really knowing much, but by the end of the movie, uh, he is in it. He, you know, he is taking care of, you know, the kids. Um, you know, he's completely uh, confident, capable. Um, he's doing a fantastic job as a as a as a caretaker, as a uh, you know, as a parent, as 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 a dad. Um, so, uh, Michael Keaton's really funny. The, the cast is really good. Christopher Lloyd's in this. Uh, uh, Terry Garr is fantastic. Uh, 
Martin Mull. Anyway, so this is a this is a comedy that still holds up, um, and is and I'm really glad that Shout Factory has put this out. Um, it's a good good movie. And then we've got Disney's uh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, scary and Mary, or Mary and Scary. Uh, we've got a, a Halloween special and a Christmas special. Uh, Mickey Mouse um, is enjoying a new series of shorts that are being broadcast on uh, Disney Channel or Disney XD or whatever. And uh, the animation style is, well, it took me a bit of getting used to. But, um, the the I don't want to say innocence, but the humor of Mickey Mouse is still there, and so uh, they're they're good shorts, uh, and these uh, are two specials that have aired. The uh, Christmas one aired last year, um, and it's a pretty decent you know uh, it's. I guess it would be like anyway. It's a good. It's it's decent enough. It's good. It's good. Uh, Donald Duck doesn't want to fly south uh, for the winter. He wants to stay and uh, check out what Christmas is all about. So that's good. Uh, but the uh, the Halloween special, the Halloween special is is uh, what you really want uh, this DVD for because the number of Halloween specials um, is pretty small. Um, but the number of really good quality Halloween specials is even is even you know smaller. So um, to have a really good Halloween special um, that is funny and family friendly, um, you know, I, hey, what what else do you want? Um, also, there are five. They call it bonus shorts. It's basically five of the short the Mickey Mouse shorts um, in this you know series. And then we've got Porky Pig 101, uh, which has the first 101 Porky Pig cartoons ever. Um, and uh, this is not for kids. That doesn't mean that say that kids cannot watch this. Um, but um, some of these cartoons were made at a time when cultural sensitivity was just wasn't thought of. Um, and one of the special features on the uh, fifth disc, is it? Yeah, fifth, disc five. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Don't play it around with kids. So, um, from nineteen, I want to say nineteen thirty-eight to nineteen forty-four. I'm not going to bother looking this up right now. Uh, I'm just going to plow on. Um, hundreds and hundreds of uh, Merry Melodies and Looney Tunes uh, cartoon shorts were produced. And this is 101 of them, uh, all featuring Porky Pig. And these the Porky's first 101. Even if you're not a Porky Pig fan, you need this. This is a great collection of... of animation. It's just, it's just you. If you collected the, um, if you collected the Warner Brothers uh, shorts collections on DVD or Blu-ray that came out over the last ten years, uh, um, then you want this. You you really do. Even if you're not a fan of Porky Pig, this this is this is great stuff. Finally, uh, Shout Factory has released Ernie Kovacs' Take a Good Look series on DVD. Uh, seven discs? Yes, seven discs. Uh, 49 episodes of this game show where uh, a panel tries to guess what uh, has made the uh, contestant uh, newsworthy. Think of it like... Uh, well, if you remember the old the old game show of What's My Line, um, it's kind of like that. But um, what makes this different is uh, Ernie Kovacs provides the clues. Uh, so they are absurd. They are silly. They are surreal. Um, it's just insane 
how uh, what he did. Um, Ernie Kovacs uh, contribution and influence on television comedy simply cannot be overstated. Um, Take a Good Look is not the place to uh, start off looking uh, you know, to learn about Ernie and Kovacs. But for fans, you got to pick this up because this is some of his best gags are here. Um, I mean, there's just, it's really funny. So, uh, thank you, Shout Factory, for, uh, for publishing that. All right, um, that is going to be it. Um, long overdue on some of those. Long overdue on getting this thing posted, too. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you would. Uh, check out some of the other videos. And um, again, thanks as always for watching and sticking around. Uh, keep playing.